Yeah, how you guys doing over there? Brew guy 89 Today we're talking about yeast nutrient. Uh, yeah, yeast nutrient's kind of self-explanatory. Basically, you put it in there, it gives the yeast a little bit more to eat and uh, keeps them healthy pretty much. It says here, one tablespoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon per gallon of must. One teaspoon per gallon of must. Food grade urea and dionium or diminium, I don't know what the hell. Phosphate. It's two ounces. This was about like three bucks, two bucks, something like that. I don't really remember. Everything's pretty cheap. And then, you know, homebrew stuff. Uh, basically, yeast nutrient just nourishes the yeast, uh, making sure it remains healthy throughout the whole fermentation process. Uh, there's other products that are out there that are nutrients. Um, they might have other names and they, other stuff that pretty much keeps the yeast pretty healthy and stuff. Um, besides these dionium phosphate and this stuff that's in here, there's other uh, ingredients that you can use to do the same thing. And you can actually put both in there as well. Pretty much you can make fermented uh, drinks without yeast nutrient, but if you find that you know it's a little too sweet or you feel like it wasn't fully fermented, you might want to look into using a little bit of uh, yeast nutrient next time to really finish out the entire uh, fermentation. So most of the stuff we're working with is water soluble and so is this. You just pour it right in, you mix it up for a little bit, let it sit. You might need to mix it in really good and stuff, make sure it's really disintegrated because you know some things that are water soluble you know they take a little while to, to break down so yeah you know just pour it right in there in your meat and mix it up uh, usually before pri uh, you know prior to fermentation and uh, it'll really give a good uh, nutrition for the yeast and help them get a really good start to your uh, for your drink I put uh, yeast nutrient in all my uh, fermented drinks uh, it just really gives everything a kickstart you can see the bubbles right away within 12 hours and uh, and uh, I don't know, it just works good for me. I got it, it's only a couple bucks. You might as well pick it up, add it to your kit, and start putting it in your drinks. It helps out pretty good. So that's uh, yeast nutrient. I suggest you start using it in the beginning. Don't uh, put too much, you don't wanna have a funny taste, but uh, follow the instructions, you know, one teaspoon per gallon. So store it right in your must. All right guys, it's BrewGuy89 signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.